What's up everybody, this is Steve from Flight Brothers and today I'm going to give a quick tutorial on how to fly a quadcopter or a multi-rotor aircraft. Like many of you, I came from a fixed wing aircraft background and I got to be a pretty confident flyer on fixed wing airplanes. But when I made the transition to quadcopters, I discovered really quick that it's a whole different style of flying. Uh, and even if you're new to flying quadcopters, you might find it a little challenging at first. And I'm thinking that what I'm about to share with you might help you out along the way. So I started off flying quadcopters on a Sima X1, which is a great trainer. Uh, I think they're still available out there. Um, I was able to sync it with my Turnigy 9X transmitter and had a whole lot of fun with it, but I honestly wasn't very successful with it. I did a lot of flying, I did a lot of crashing, uh, and I just never really got a real comfortable hang on how to maneuver a quadcopter in order to get it to fly and travel in the direction I wanted it to. What I learned really quickly is that uh, unlike a fixed wing aircraft, which always has forward momentum and always travels in the direction that you point it, a quadcopter will travel in any direction depending on which way it's leaning or turning and also it will continue on that path unless you tip it and give it a thrust or propulsion in a different direction, whether it be the opposite direction or uh, changing direction in any way. So. I just didn't really get that concept for a while, but either way, I got really excited about FPV quad racing when Rich built his Tick Quad, which you can check out some videos of him flying on our YouTube channel, uh, and I just couldn't wait. So I went ahead and <clears throat> did a lot of research and decided on building a ZMR250 frame. It's not the neatest to build but it works really well and it's held up great for me so I've been pretty happy with it and I started flying this initially line of sight for a couple flights and hopped right into FPV and it took me a little while to get used to it but I had this moment where I was struggling a little bit and I put my transmitter down took my goggles off and I just picked up the quadcopter and held it in my hands and I just started tipping it and moving it in the directions that it would move if I gave it certain inputs to try and get an idea of how it's going to react when I give it those inputs in the air. Now, a lot of people might tell you to try flying line of sight first to see how the quad reacts to your different inputs and I think that's great advice. Um, it's just not something I did. So when I went ahead and picked up the quadcopter and just started moving it with my hands, that's when I started realizing exactly what was happening and what I needed to do. So my tutorial, uh, what I'm going to show you is not going to involve any flight footage. I'm just going to move my quad around with my hands and explain what I figured out and hopefully it helps you. So uh, with a quadcopter, like I mentioned earlier, it's always going to travel in the direction that it's leaning and it will continue on that path unless it leans, tips, pitches, rolls in an opposite direction to give it thrust in a different direction. So when you make a turn it means it's going to require a lot of different inputs in order to make it travel in the direction you want it to travel. When we first start off in uh, flying quadcopters a lot of times you might experience trying to turn but just drifting the direction you are traveling and not actually making a successful turn the way you expected it to be. Uh, and that is because, like I said, as you go into a turn, even if you change the direction that you're pointing the quad, you're going to keep going that direction until you actually give it a different input that's going to lean it and give it propulsion to go the opposite direction. So <clears throat> what I learned was this. If you're traveling into a turn, so this is going to be a left-hand turn. If you're traveling forward, you're already pitched forward like this. And your quad is now pro propelling you forward because you're tipped in that direction. Now here's where it gets uh, a little confusing when you're first learning. is If you're like me, 
you just want to change the direction you're pointing and go that direction, like an airplane. So if you're tipped forward, coming in at a turn, and you give it yaw to change the direction you're pointing, well, that's going to just rotate it on the center of your, uh, the axis is going to be on the center of your aircraft right here. So if you're tipped forward and you yaw left in one direction, you're going to wind up now rolled right. Even though I yawed left, I'm now rolled right because it's going to maintain that angle in the direction you were traveling. So if you just yaw right, left, you're going to wind up rolled right, and you're going to wind up still traveling the direction that you were traveling before you yawed. Now this gets really confusing when you're flying FPV for the first time and you try to change the direction you're pointing but you keep drifting that way. A lot of times that's what's happening is you're giving it yaw to change the direction you're pointing but you're not giving it any other input to counteract the movement in the original direction. So the other thing you need is some roll. If you're going to make a left hand turn, you're pitched forward as you head to the turn, you give it the yaw which changes the direction you're pointing, but you also have to give it left hand roll so that you're now going to thrust in the direction that you're trying to travel and you're also going to prevent yourself from traveling any farther in the direction you are already traveling. Now the last thing you need is going to be some pitch forward because even though you were pitched forward going into the turn if you yaw, the pitch that you had forward has now turned into roll to the right. So you're no longer pitched forward. So even if you counteract that with left roll, you're now level. If you yaw left and roll left, you're now level. And if you go into the turn using just yaw and just roll, but you don't pitch forward, you're going to give it throttle to travel, but you're just going to travel up and not so much in the direction that you wanted to travel. So now it requires a combination of all three things to change direction appropriately. You need to say you're pitched forward going into the roll to so traveling forward. You're going to give it yaw to change the direction you're facing. You have to give it pitch to change the, or I'm sorry, roll in order to counteract the original angle you were at, and then you need to pitch forward so that you begin traveling in the direction that you went. When I first started uh, my turns, I would often not give it enough roll to counteract, and I wouldn't pitch forward. So what would happen is I would go into the turn tipped, I would yaw, and maybe counteract it, but I wouldn't pitch and so I would still drift a little bit in the original direction, but then I would just travel upwards. And that was really frustrating until I realized I had to give it some pitch too in order to get more forward momentum in the new direction. If I'm doing a 180 degree turn, it's just more of the same. I'm pitched forward, I'm gonna yaw it left, roll left, pitch forward, and you just continue those three inputs until you are turned 180 degrees and then you kind of have to level it out and with a little bit of right roll now you gotta level it back out keep it pitched forward and give it throttle in order to go in the opposite direction the last thing I didn't talk much about is the throttle control. You'll hear people say all the time, flying quads is all about throttle control, and that's absolutely right. You cannot complete that any of the maneuvers that I just demonstrated without also adjusting your throttle up and down. I find that that part of it comes a little more naturally once you understand the other inputs. Typically, as you're coming into a turn pitched forward, you probably will reduce throttle slightly to make these maneuvers to change the direction you're pointed, change your roll and pitch forward, but as soon as you're pitched a little forward and aiming more in the direction you want to travel, you're going to give it a lot of throttle, more than your original amount, in order to counteract that original 
uh, direction you are traveling, the momentum of that direction, in order to counteract that, you're going to have to give it more throttle, and then you have because you have to counteract that original momentum and propel yourself in the opposite direction. So you're pro what typically is going to happen is as you approach the turn, right as you begin your maneuver, you're probably going to reduce throttle a little bit, and then as you're finishing your rotation or your maneuver, you're going to hit the throttle hard in order to come out of that turn and propel yourself into the new direction that you'd like to travel. So <laughs> that's my little tutorial on flying quadcopters and I hope it helped you out in learning how to make these turns and the inputs that you're going to need. If it did help you like it helped me, I really would appreciate if you'd like, share, subscribe to this video and uh, check out some of our other videos on our channel and we'll see you again next time. Thanks a lot everybody.